So for all of you who are grocery shopping this weekend, please keep this in mind so that when you go shopping, you can look up the item or things that you uh, could donate for the Pass It On food drive for your child or just in general for the food pantry and add that to your grocery list. It's not an extra trip for you and it makes a world of difference. Hi, my name is Linda Burkholz. I'm the executive director of the Life Food Pantry. We have an extremely important event coming up. As you all know, Thanksgiving is coming. And for us at the Food Pantry, it is an extraordinarily important time of year. Food insecurity has always been an issue. Food insecurity during a pandemic is enormous. And so this is part of what we do to give back to our community. I'd like to introduce two people who are very, very involved in the process. It's called Pass It On. We have Nancy Grant, who is the founder of Pass It On, and we have Libby Westerman. Libby is the coordinator of the event this year and last year, which was quite an interesting event. And so, um, Nancy, could you please tell us about the history and I'm, what we do? I would be happy right, to. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it was 2001 and 9-11 happened. And as those of you who remember, everybody's world turned upside down. And at that time, I was president of the PTSA for the intermediate and middle schools. And we could tell that everybody was just really struggling. Kids, the kids were struggling. They were scared. So we said, we've got to do something good. We need something positive. And so we decided, what could we do that get the kids involved? And we decided, you know, we can't change the world, but we can change our little corner of it. So we came up with the idea of a food drive to benefit the Life Food Pantry, right up the street from the schools. So, and none of this would have happened without Warren McClellan, who was the principal of the intermediate at the time, at Mimic School. He was wonderful, so supportive. So I had this idea, okay, we're going to line the kids up the street and we're going to get the food up to the food pantry. Well, we chose the, the, the title, the, the name Pass It On, as really kind of a pay it forward. Um, everybody was feeling, you know, the world was going so crazy, but you know, if you felt good, well then pass it on, kind of pay it forward. And so it gave the kids a chance really to think outside themselves, to concentrate on something good. So we assigned um, you know, food to each classroom. The first year we actually did it in October in conjunction with National Make a Difference Day, which had started about 10 years before, big push in 2001 because of 9-11. So um, actually at the end of it, I, um, as for our efforts, we received an award, I'm gonna fix my mask, uh, an award and a $150 prize, which we turned around and gave back to the food pantry. So, and we took that, um, the word pass it on, as I said, seriously, we lined the kids up next to one another from the five, six, seven, eight campus up Lebanon Road to Prince of Peace Church, which is where the pantry was at the time. And they actually passed the food hand to hand all the way up the street. It was a cold morning, um, but it was amazing to watch. And the kids, you know, I think the time had kind of changed just like we're doing now. So it was a little dark, a little cold, but the kids totally enjoyed it. Um, and I think the fact that 20 years later, this is still going on, speaks so well of this community. It's such a great place to live, to raise your family, because it, it takes care of their own. I mean, we. Uh, it's such a good, strong community for that. I think now about that term, make a difference day, that was kind of foreshadowing when I think of all the families that this has made a difference for. So I say, you know, cheers to the citizens of Loveland, cheers to the school district, and, um, and then cheers to the pantry because it's supplying such a need in this community. So, and now Libby is, has taken it over and she's doing it this year. So I've done it for the past couple of years. Um, last year was a little different than what we normally do. Um, usually we have coordinators at each building. So we started LECC, um, LPS, LES, LIS, and LMS. So all the schools um, combined together. And then we assign 
we have a meeting with the life pantry to know you know what they need for thanksgiving baskets holiday baskets and for protein uh, weekend bags so um once we have all of that um kind of all scheduled um we give the information to all the classrooms and they start collecting on the day of the food drive um lis and lms still walk it down they don't hand it one <laughs> yeah. by one anymore but um, they do walk it down and we have a very organized system for that essentially um, everybody is in charge of um, with their classrooms they have competitions within the schools to raise the most for their classroom um, this year we started um, posters by the students to get even more involved to really Give the information to everybody within the school and last year um we had an issue with coming into the schools um to organize so we actually did more of a community um with neighborhoods that organize food but the school still collected gift cards and we got a very generous uh, donation for gift cards so we actually came out even better than before with what we collected and gave to the community. Um, 250 Thanksgiving baskets and 200 holiday baskets that we give to our community. And then we also have extra um, weekend bag um, items such as um, um, protein and things um, for kids that maybe go home for a long weekend and don't have enough to eat um, over the weekend. So. Um, parents love to volunteer so we have parent volunteers the day of the pass it on food drive and it's kind of a well-oiled machine by now and it's just been a blessing that our community is able to come together and that our students are giving back to um, to those mm -hmm. in need within our community so this year it is Friday November 19th um, that with the in the children across the street in, uh, from us in the first, second, third, fourth, will be walking the food out, putting it on school buses, um, and then which we will take up to Prince of Peace so that we can organize it all. So uh, if your child comes home and talks about it, please, please support this. It's, uh, it's good for the community, but it's good for the kids. It's good for them to know that they can do something positive to help. They have a list for volunteers and for each classroom and what they're supposed to bring on the PTA website um, um, in Tiger Talk. So if you get a Tiger Talk, come home, um, that gives all the information about your school. You can find all the information there to know what your classroom is collecting um, so you can get your food items turned in by the date of uh, November 19th. And that way we can help everybody in Loveland have a happy Thanksgiving.